Welcome to KW Geography and GIS. Last time we looked at four figure grid references and we'll keep one step further and learn about six figure grid references today. Alright, let's look at a simple grid again with A in it. Now I know you can give me the answer. So what is the four-figure grid reference of A. You walk along the corridor until you get at the first wall, which is 34, and until you get at the first floor of that square, which is 84. So, it is 34, 84. Suppose that you have B in the same square. Then, the four-figure grid reference of B would be 34 84 again. Two different points with the same four figure grid reference. So, it is a problem. Is there a solution? Yes. We are going to look at a six figure grid reference for that. There we calibrate each square into 10 vertical lines. And again, into 10 horizontal lines so it will give you 100 small squares within one square it is calibrated horizontally and vertically now let's look at a and b once again then for you to get a six figure grid reference Obviously, you should add two more figures to your previous four-figure grid reference. And let's see how you do it. Now, as you walk along the corridor, your first wall was 34. And after that, which calibration is it at? It's at 2. So, it's 34, 2. Then, up the stairs, after the 84th first floor, which calibration is it at? It's at 4. So, the 6 figure grid reference of A is 34, 2, 84, 4. We'll look at B now. Again, the first wall is 34, but it's at the 6th calibration, so it's 34, 6. And after the first floor, 84, it's at the 8th calibration, 84, 8. So, B has a 6-figure reference of 34, 6, 84, 8. See how we differentiated a and B, which had the same four-figure grid references, using the six-figure grid referencing system. Can you work out C now? Yes. It should be 33.8.84.6. I hope you understood this lesson. Stay tuned and subscribe for more. Have a great day.